Hello everybody, this is Johnny. Let's make a game together. You will need for this game some paper, something to draw with, some playing pieces, a deck of cards, and maybe a bear. So let's get started. This game is called Number Battle. So on your paper, let's go ahead and write that in the middle. Number Battle. And to make it interesting, I'm going to start with a dot in the middle of the page, and I'll make a line going through this way and through this way. And let's think of some good numbers. Oh, I like the number 0. I also like 7. I like 12. And I like 24. And to make this work out well for us, let's put dots in each of the corners. You'll understand what they're for in a little while. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and add some players. So let's see. There'll need to be two players for this. On this side, let's start with a little T, a couple big circles, a little circle, an arc, maybe an arc this way, and might as well give it some ears. How about some eyes, eyebrows, maybe a few whiskers. And this is Susie. We need another player. Let's start over here. Let's make a nice big round circle here. A couple more big circles. A little one like this. Maybe an arc across here. Something round like this. Maybe some eyes. We're missing something, aren't we? Oh, we need to add the ears. And this is Fred. Now Fred and Susie are going to play the game of number battle. So let's get all set up here. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put the cards at the top. Oh, something special about the cards. Not an ordinary deck of cards. Take a look and think about what's going on here. What do you see? There are no face cards here. So you have to take all of those out and then you can mix them up however you want. But it's only going to be the numbers 2 through 10. And I'm going to put them at the top here. The other thing we're going to do is give dice. Let's give Fred some dice. And let's give Susie some dice as well. All right. If you only have one pair of dice, you can share between the two of you. But if you have two sets of dice, that works out really well too. So let's put this aside. And now we're ready to play the number battle. So let's do one more thing. Let's take a shiny coin and put it on the number 7. Now with each turn, we want to change the number that's going to matter to us. So 7 to start with, 12, 24, and 0. Now how this number matter matters is that you're going to be using the numbers on the dice and one of the cards to try to make the number that's closest to the number in the middle, the number battle number. All right? So let's give it a try. In the first round, the card that matters is a 4. And we're trying to get to the number 7. We, have, we should try to use this 4 and the dice. So if Fred rolls, Fred has a 1, a 3, and a 4 to think about to try to make a 7. If Susie rolls, Susie rolls a 3 and a 5. And Susie can be thinking of 3, 5, and 4. Now here's what's special about this. You can be using addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division to make the number that is closest to 7. Here's the other thing that's special. You can choose to use one of the three numbers that you have, two of them, or all three. You decide. So Fred can use one, three, and four. I wonder what Fred's going to do. And Susie's going to use three, or five, or four, or some mix of the three. All right? So let's let Susie go first. Susie's looking at the numbers 3, 5, and 4. How can Susie make some number that's close to 7? So Susie's thinking, well, maybe if I add 4 and 5 together, I get 9. 
And if I take away 3, then I have 6. That's a good number. What's Fred thinking? Uh, Fred's thinking some good things because Fred's in a really good place. Can you see what good numbers Fred can make? Trying to get to the 7. Fred says, well, I could just add the 3 to the 4 and I can win. I can even multiply 3 plus 4 times 1 and still get to 7. So 3 and 4 is 7 times 1 is 7. And so in this turn, Fred wins. So Fred gets the card. Let's play another round. So let's take, flip over the card. This time we have a 3. The number we're trying to get to this time is 12. So Fred rolls the dice, and Susie rolls the dice as well. Think about the possibilities right now. Fred is trying to get to 12 using 3, 2, and 5. And Susie's trying to get to 12 using 5, 6, and 3. Remember, you don't have to use all three numbers. You can use any combination of them. So let's think about what Susie's going to be doing. Trying to get to 12. So Susie has the idea that maybe 6 times 3 is 18. And 18 minus 5 takes Susie to 13. So right now Susie has 13, which is only one away from the 12. What is Fred thinking? Well, Fred's looking at 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 plus 3 is 13 also. Oh, they both get the same number, and that's the closest they might get. So let's take this card, and we'll put it aside and save it for later. Let's play another round. This time we're thinking about the number 24. We flip a card. This time it's a 10. And Fred rolls a 2, a 5. And Susie rolls a 2 and a 6. What numbers are they going to make that get them closest to 24 to be the winner? So Susie starts by saying, well, I can make 2 times 6 is 12. And 12 is, and 10 makes, gives us 22. That's a great number. Fred looks at his numbers and sees 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 more gets to 20. That's not quite as good as Susie's roll. So Susie's going to win this turn. So let's put the dice aside and move on to the number 0. Now this one's going to be interesting. Here's the card that matters. And I want to put out a rule for you. Think about this in your gameplay. You will have to decide whether you only want to use counting numbers. Meaning, can you use numbers that are fraction numbers or negative numbers? You'll have to decide with zero here. I'm going to stick to counting numbers. All right. So our number this time is 9. And Fred's going to roll. Fred got a good roll, didn't Fred get a good roll? And Susie has a good roll as well. Let's see what we have. Susie can take 9, subtract 4, and subtract 3 more and get a 2. That's pretty close to 0. But look what Fred has. Fred has 6 and 4. 6 and 4 make 10, and 10 minus 9 gives us 1, which is closer to 0. So Fred wins this number battle and takes the card. So this is the game number battle. Remember, you need to have some paper, something to write with, maybe a friend or two, some dice, maybe a penny to move things around, and um, maybe a bear. <laughs>